In this video, we're going to talk about something called goodwill. Uh, goodwill is something that's a little hard for some people to understand. Uh, technically, it's something that's recognized when one business purchases another business. So when you acquire another business and, and the purchase price, the amount paid for that other business, exceeds the fair value of the net identifiable assets of that business. So that sounds a little complex. Let's just work through an example and I think it'll, it'll become a lot more clear. So in our example, let's say the target, the company that we're, we're trying to acquire, we're a company, we're trying to acquire this new company called Target Company. So we're gonna have to look at Target Company's assets and liabilities in order to figure out what its net identifiable assets are. So let's say in terms of assets, this company has cash of, of $25, they have accounts receivable uh, of $50, they have inventory $50, and PP&E of $100. Now, now these are all assets, but we need net identifiable assets, and these, these are all fair values. We're assuming this is all a fair value, but we need to know the net. So what does that mean? Well, we're going to have to subtract out liabilities. So let's say that there are liabilities of 75. So the, the, these are some debts or something that the company has. So we're going to have to net this, subtract these liabilities from the fair value of the assets. And what that's going to yield is that's going to yield net assets of 150. So you might be thinking, well, what, why is this important? Well, now we need to know what is our purchase price. Because we're going to compare our purchase price to the, the, this fair value of the net identifiable assets. We're going to compare this to this. So let's say the purchase price that we end up paying uh, $400 for Target Company. That's, that's what we pay to buy Target Company. So now what we do is we take the purchase price of 400 and we subtract out this 150. So this is the, the value of the net assets and this is what we pay. So we're just taking what we pay, subtracting the net assets and then the balance this is 250 and that 250 is goodwill now well what theoretically is this goodwill well I guess you could say that it, it represents uh, kind of a premium that we're paying for these assets. Now, why would we pay more if this, if we know the fair value, or we're estimating the fair value, and and ultimately this is what we think that the net assets are worth of this company? Why would we pay four hundred dollars? Well, it could be uh, that there's some kind of uh, synergy. Uh, maybe we believe that these assets. Well, once they're with our company in conjunction with our assets and our resources, maybe in our hands they're worth a lot more than 150. Uh, you know, maybe we just feel that these assets, uh, when in conjunction with one another, uh, the value is actually a lot greater than the the individual sum of the parts. So there's many reasons why we we might uh, do what it looks like we're overpaying here of 250 dollars, and maybe we are. Uh, but in any event we're going to recognize this extra, this premium, as a good goodwill. So there's a few things that we should note about goodwill. So, so here's, some, here's some caveats. So number one, goodwill never internally generated. Okay, we only get this when we're purchasing another company. We can't say, oh, well, we we think that we actually uh, we we've got a lot of synergies here that you know we we really built up a good company and no it, it doesn't work like that you don't internally generate goodwill it only comes from an acquisition so another caveat is that we do not amortize goodwill 
it is not amortized like some other types of intangible assets uh, goodwill is an intangible asset but some some assets that are intangible we go ahead and amortize them over time goodwill is never amortized however goodwill can in certain circumstances it can be impaired so sometimes you'll hear that after uh, it, following an acquisition maybe a year or two down the road uh, you'll hear of a firm saying oh we took this this really big charge or this really big impairment uh, related to goodwill I'm gonna have a separate video on how you would go ahead and calculate uh, an impairment charge for goodwill but to suffice it to say right now uh, that you can have an impairment charge against goodwill although it is never amortized and it cannot be recognized when it's internally generated it's simply something that represents the premium or the excess that we pay over the fair value of the net identifiable assets of a firm that we acquire. That's what goodwill is.